Just thought I'd get you a nice hot cup of coffee to cheer you up, champ. Ah, oh, son of a ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That will always be funny. I think it's it. It will never not be funny. See, it's the one. Just throw some nail coffee in somebody's face, dog. It does. What's good, y'all? It's Ross back at it again with another video. So we got WWE Top 20 Stone Cold Steve Austin funniest segments, man. Stone Cold when he was having his little funny moments, especially when he was a heel or whatnot. They were actually quite entertaining, you know. We know Stone Cold as the, the beer drinking, trash talking, you know, SOB, but he would have his comedic moments from time to time. So we're gonna check this out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel, man. You guys are amazing. And we're gonna get right into this bad boy. That wasn't me, once again, ad blocker. <laughs> What's that glass broke? You already knew what it was. 18,000 people calling you an asshole. Love it. If you're a lying asshole, <laughs> you're an honest asshole. That's what I want to know. Everybody here. Mistakes. Give the son of a bitch. Come on, I can't get a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> he threw it. <laughs> that was a ten thousand dollar microphone. 10, Raise your voice to me one more time. I'll throw your little carcass up there just like that. <laughs> 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 ah, he did he do that one? Bro, the fact that he, those microphones are probably hella expensive. The fact he's just launching them up is fucking great. Steve wow. Austin, let's bring him out. Where's that, Jim? I'm stunning, Steve. The Hollywood Blast can go as. Hey, wake up. Let, 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 let me do that here. Open up, open up. Right Bro. Stooge. Well, there's Mr. Stooge right there. The last time I saw a body like that, it had an apple stuffed in its mouth and it was roasting over a <laughs> Well, I've never Stone seen this before. Shot. Breathing down our necks. Breathing down our necks. Oh, this is They're a classic down. one. <laughs> now, damn it. We'll break apart. They'll pick us apart out there. Pick us apart. Stop it right there. Shut the music down. Shut this music. Shut this music. Shut this music. I watch you spray that stupid ass water. Lola say. I right now am trying extremely hard to maintain my composure. You could take those rotten sunglasses off so I can look at your little beady eyes. Wipe that stupid smile off your face. Yes, you will wrestle tonight. Houston, Texas. Hey! Hell in a cell! Hell in a cell. <laughs> no, 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 that ain't the bottom line, you dumb little bastard. Chase them down! But this was a cool segment, too. Oh. Oh, yeah, this. We've seen this one plenty of times. What about the cheeseburgers? Hey, <laughs> 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 doing crunches. <laughs> Pull out another WrestleMania moment. <laughs> Love it. Mr. Backlash. Why? What? Does he scare you? What? Does he make you shake? What? You don't breathe? What? You got no pulse. What? You're not alive. What? <laughs> I love him. Time. What? For Ric Flair. What? To make a decision. What? Stone cold. What? Stone cold. What? You said stone cold <laughs> now. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I just thought I'd get you a 
nice hot cup of coffee to cheer you up, champ. I'm sorry. That will always be funny. That thing is it. It will never not be funny. See, it's the one who throws a nail of coffee in somebody's face, dog. It does. We got to watch that again, bro. I don't know why this is it's messed up, but it's funny because he's selling it like it's scolding hot, bro. I just thought I'd get you a nice hot cup of coffee to cheer you up, champ. Uh, you son of a... Uh, uh, call a paramedic. I don't give a damn about that, man. I think I burned my mouth. <laughs> Austin Hogan. I went in the back looking through my bag and uh, I found a can of whoop ass and it had Hulk Hogan's name on it. I'm going to be honest with you. If that ever would have happened at the time, possibly, when it could have happened, that, I think a lot of fans wanted that to happen, bro. I mean, Hogan was the personification for wrestling. Definitely like in the 80s, for sure. And Stone Cold was the personification of wrestling, like, Mid to late nineties, bro. He was that. It it was it was Stone Cold. It was, he was the guy. You know what I'm saying? So I think a lot of fans would have loved that. Of course, I mean, we got to see the Rock and Stone. Uh, not Hogan and Stone Cold. Stone. I keep saying Hogan and the Rock. There we go. We got to see that when that was a legendary moment. But I think a lot of fans would love to have seen Hogan versus Stone Cold. That would have been a legendary, another legendary moment. Drink up, woman. Here's to you. Oh. I can't make an exception to the rule. What's oh, no! What <laughs> New Year's That's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold says so. <laughs> well, Stone Cold Steve Austin with your mind on the undisputed WWE champion Chris Jericho. Do you mind if I cut you off? Can I continue? What? Stop running your mouth. What? I was horrified. What? You know why? What? Because I found out that this is a dry county. What? You think it's funny? What? Huh? I got nervous. More beer. What? More vodka. What? More whiskey. What? You want to know why? <laughs> you don't know why? You want to know why? What? What? Shut up. Thank <laughs> you very much, you son of a bitch. Can you do it? Yes, sir. Will you do it? Yes, sir. That's what I want to hear. Well, didn't he even like tough enough? I forgot. I think. I think he was like one of the winners of Tough Enough. Correct me if I'm wrong. It, he didn't really go nowhere in WWE, unfortunately. You want a shot of whiskey? What? Vodka? What? Anything? What? Hey, what do you want? It's annoying, isn't it? It is annoying. Can you say the alphabet backward? Well, I can whip your ass backwards. <laughs> <laughs> we've got people going on. We've got, a, we've got a fight going on. I was hoping to get your comments and what Triple H had to say. What? <laughs> Hoping to get your comments on what Triple H said. What? That what you're asking me? What? <laughs> Speak up, hold a microphone so I can talk. <laughs> you got time for me to tell you a story? <laughs> I went to a bar <laughs> and started drinking beer. <laughs> Two handed, <laughs> one handed, <laughs> no handed. <laughs> the whole bar started fighting. <laughs> I whipped everybody's ass. <laughs> I'm ready for the Royal Rumble. In my center of gravity, it makes it hard for a man to throw me over the top rope. That's <laughs> Triple H. You said you kicked my ass once. Think you can do it again? That's what I said. I said what? <laughs> it's so crazy how he came up with one of the most iconic chants in wrestling history. They will be wetting until the end of time. Not a lot of times they wet. They do what chance now when they don't care for a segment or being trolls in the crowd. Like, especially if it's a heel, they'll start wetting you for the most part. Um, it, it happens, you know, every now and then. But it's it's just so crazy to see how over that was and how still it it people still do it to this day, man. It's crazy. It's homecoming on USA Network. Am I supposed to believe the BS spewing out of your mouth? There we go. If you think this son bitch is full of crap, give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ah! 
Eagle rights, eagle fights. Why my husband? Your husband's a piece of Look, they're all stunned. That is fucking fantastic. Trash. Your son's a chip off your old block. He's a piece of trash too. <laughs> Linda didn't sell it at all. <laughs> What's he gonna do there? Now get your ass back to work. This is a legendary so segment too. An investment man. And I use that term somewhat loosely. The reason I call this meeting here today is president of marketing, research, and development. I hope so. Well, you're fired. <laughs> you're fired from looking stupid. Now get your ass up contest. <laughs> because I want to find out exactly. This is a great stand. segment. I'm gonna pass out this beer. Shot lawyer. Two out two lunches. Bring it up down my going over the day-to-day -day operations. <laughs> the new CEO of the World Wrestling Federation, The Rock. <laughs> That was such a funny segment. Than the one I envision this Sunday. And that's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold. Cold. That's a that's a tough Before Stone Cold shirt. The sheer <laughs> <laughs> and me. He kept throwing the beer at him. Target You like the Backstreet Boys? <laughs> that shit was funny, bro. He was legit launching them and it fucking cut like, yo, stop throwing these at me. What is wrong with you? Oh, man. If you throw another. <laughs> Forget it, Austin. I don't think he's done either. <laughs> even no. Of course, this is an infamous, infamous. Segment one of the best Stone Cold segments of all time, and it features Booker T. Oh man, fresh. <laughs> he can't hear you. <laughs> this was such a great, fun segment. <laughs> Oh, this is a good one too. Is that the head nurse? Last time it was normal. We're gonna find it's normal this time. There. Is it normal? Yes, it looks real good. Oh, I'll take it from here, nurse. <laughs> he said, I'll take it from here, nurse. They didn't show the part. We got hit with the uh the, the pan we used to rest to. <laughs> All you hear was boom. <laughs> oh, I love this. No matter how many times I see this segment, it just brings me joy. I remember watching this as a kid here. Well, I'll take it from here, nurse. I was like, oh, it's him. <laughs> New York, check it out. Whoop. Ready for Great one. Give Great segment. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Love it. <laughs> no, this is he's he's one of the greatest, bro. He is for those who don't know, he's my favorite wrestler, and then it's the rock like 1A. <laughs> Stone Cold is like Stone Cold is 1A, the rock is 1B, bro. It it, it just you had to be there to see it. I, I really wish some of you younger guys, you know, guys and gals, man, if you was like there to see it live on television, bro, the show could have been dog trash, like dumpster juice awful. But as long as The Rock and Stone Cold was on that show, you had something to watch and best believe it was going to be enjoyable. And the crazy thing is, there was still a lot of other wrestlers that were fun to watch back then you know what i'm saying so it was a it was a you had a lot to choose from but it, it was always stone cold and the rock that definitely was just the main attraction for a lot of these shows bro like i can say it could have been dog dog you know what awful <laughs> dog doo doo awful but as long as you had stone cold as long as you had the rock on the show i think you was gonna be good man so comment down below let me know what's your favorite 
favorite Stone Cold moment of all time. You probably seen one of them in this video, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It's it's just something about the what chance definitely always does it for me but if i had to think just of a specific moment it'd probably be the number one moment in this video when he came out there with the beer truck seeing that as a kid it made me want to drink beer granted i don't drink beer like that at all i don't really like the taste of it but as a kid i was like yo that is cool he came out there in a the beer truck and just <laughs> sprayed everybody with beer i thought that was amazing but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have showed on the channel road two uh i was about to say 100k 150k appreciate y'all keeping me see on this one Peace.